Oh my God. Right. Good, thank you. Oh, can, you, can you do a two shot? Uh, we do a two. Let's just do one. Let's do one and one. Okay, do one more. That's great. Right there. Yeah, you're good right where you're at. Okay. Well, you were asking a lot of questions about the Queen of Hearts and the Barry Dingles in Austin. Sure. Are you calling for some type of investigation at all? We're not calling for it. We're, we're asking uh, law enforcement agencies in the state and other regulatory agencies in the state to uh, making sure that they have all the tools that they need to make sure that all Ohio laws are being complied with. So up to this point, we, we have no reason to believe that, that the regulatory agents don't have, agencies don't have all the tools they need. But we want to make sure that as a responsive legislature, we, we ask those questions. Okay. I, I, I was trying to understand what, he, what the Attorney General's office was saying. Who has regulatory authority over this game? Well, a, a facility such uh, as the one in the Austin Town area is, is regulated. Uh, every, every business in the state is subject to the laws of the Ohio Department of Taxation and rules of the Ohio Department of Taxation. And businesses that serve adult beverages are our you know, licensed beverage associations are governed by the Department of Commerce and Liquor Control. Uh, they, would, they would have audit functions and, and uh, regulatory functions. And of course, the county prosecutor would uh, have the ability to enforce laws. And he could seek help from the Attorney General's office if it was unclear. So I think the uh, Attorney General's office made it clear that it was clearly, definitely 100% in the jurisdiction of the county prosecutor, but that, that the Department of Taxation uh, and the Department of Liquor Control also have a joint uh, simultaneous jurisdiction in some areas. And just to clarify, you haven't heard or read anything yet that alarms you or makes you think there needs to be some kind of change in state law to stop this from happening somewhere else or do well, something about it. I haven't heard. I haven't heard of any problems that warrant a, a, anyone wants it stopped or improper. I mean, they have to deal with traffic issues and other things like that. Uh, they want to make sure that that. Uh, but those are local government issues. And not, nothing we do from Columbus, but. But uh, we're, we're making sure that, uh, that all the records are properly kept and that all the, the funds are, are dispersed according to law. Are you surprised that, I mean, this little game up in Austin Town is up to 700 and some thousand dollars? You ever yep. heard anything like it? I mean, <laughs> I'm very surprised. That's, 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 that's pretty amazing. So. I guess, are you concerned though? I mean, there's a lot of other restaurants and, and bars now in the area doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know that their totals will get up to the number that it has at Barry Dingles, but I mean, do you think that at some point there needs to be more oversight if that happens where the it, totals are higher? At least from what I'm hearing, statistically this is an anomaly in that, that the numbers would get that high. Uh, I, I, we get that a lot. Uh, we get that a lot from our lottery director. You know, when He's always told us when you get the mega millions jackpot, you know, gets, you know, 100, 200, 300 million dollars, the number of ticket sales volume rapidly increases. So, uh, you know, it doesn't, it's just a statistical anomaly that occurs when that happens and, and those numbers get up there like that. This would be, it sounds like it's very rare that it would ever get that high. Okay. How about you? Do you have concerns about it at all? or? My main concern is, as pointed out by the Attorney General's office, I think, and, and anybody who does legal work understands this, is that the, uh, the devil is in the details of these games. Uh, the extent to which they remain on the legal side or they fall onto a side of what's illegal can turn on the facts of a particular situation and how, in fact, the games are being organized and executed, okay? When games like this begin to proliferate uh, and spread and increase in number, it becomes increasingly difficult to monitor them and to identify those games that are perhaps not for, through ignorance or otherwise uh, are not staying on the legal side of the, of the fence. Hence the chairman's recommendation or comment rather that uh, we want to make sure that law enforcement has whatever resources are available to them to make sure that they're in a position to execute faithfully their responsibility of keeping, uh, keeping things legal. So that's my only concern with the proliferation or the potential proliferation of games like this is that it becomes something more of an enforcement issue. Uh, but we've, uh, we face this kind of thing all the time uh, in the terms of enforcing the laws of the state of Ohio and have every confidence that we'll do whatever we have to do to make sure that it's done right. Well, were you concerned at all when he said that giving away half the pot if the person isn't present is a gray area? 
No, but I'm a lawyer and I'm accustomed to dealing with gray areas all the time. Uh, and, and I acknowledge that it's very, very difficult to, to make the law black and white because, you know, circumstances differ from place to place and circumstance to circumstance. So uh, gray areas don't trouble me. Uh, what troubles me is making sure that our law enforcement people uh, and our prosecuting attorneys have the tools available to them to make those uh, those judgments where there are gray areas, exercise their dis enforcement discretion, their prosecutorial discretion, and that we enable the courts, when faced with these cases, to be able to make a clear decision. Representative Slesnick and the Bowling Center guy both mentioned Queen of Hearts in connection with Kino games and the lottery. Is that a separate King, Queen of Hearts game that they're talking about? I, if you look at his testimony, it doesn't sound like the same Queen of Hearts I, game. I, I don't know that it's the same Queen of Hearts game. I, I don't, yeah, I don't believe it is. Okay. I think it's something else that, that he was talking Just about. Just bad timing for discussion. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it, it was funny. The director and I talked about it uh, before, before the hearing, and, and, and you know, he's, he, the director does his job well, and he, he's constantly looking for things that that it's a fun thing that Ohioans like to play and, 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 and it benefits the, the school children of the state of Ohio. So you know, they constantly look at those things and, and what, uh, what they can do to make things better here in Ohio. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.